On the other hand, let me hasten to add that that doesn't make us small or make the time that we have to us small. Because uh, again, looking at those pictures of you know what our minds are in some sense, the components of our minds, these beautiful drawings of the cellular patterns inside the brain, you see that there are many, many, many processing units. And if you analyze how fast they operate, I tried to estimate how many thoughts a person can have in a lifetime. That's kind of a fuzzy question, but I'm very proud that I, I was able to define it pretty precisely. And it turns out we can we have time for billions of meaningful thoughts in a lifetime. In a lifetime. So so it's a lot. We shouldn't uh, we shouldn't you, uh, think of ourselves as terribly small <laughs> either in space or in time, because although we're small in those dimensions compared to the universe, we're we're large compared to meaningful units of processing information and and uh, and being able to conceptualize and understand things. Yeah, but ninety nine percent of those thoughts are probably food, sex, or internet related. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, well, that's yeah, well, they're not. That's right. Only well, like point one is Nobel Prize winning ideas. But <laughs> that's true. But uh, you know, there's more to life than winning Nobel Prizes. How did you um, do that calculation? Can you maybe break that apart a little bit, just kind of for oh, fun, in sort of an intuition of yeah, how we calculate uh, the number of thoughts? The number of thoughts, right? They're they're it's it's necessarily imprecise because a lot of things are going on in different ways and what is a thought. But there are several things that point to more or less the same uh, rate of being able to have meaningful thoughts. Uh, for instance, I, I, the one that I think is maybe the most penetrating is uh, how fast we can we can process visual images. How do, how do we do that? Uh, if you've ever watched old movies, you can see that that when, when well any movie in, in fact that in a motion picture is really not a motion picture it's a series of snapshots that are played one after the other and it's the because our brains also work that way we take snapshots of the world integrate over a certain time and then go on to the next one and then by post processing create the illusion of continuity and flow uh, we can deal with that and uh, the if the flicker rate is too slow, then you start to see that it's not, it's a series of snapshots. And you can ask, what is the, what is the crossover? When does it change from being something that, that is matched to our processing speed versus too fast? And, and it turns out about 40 per second. And then if you take 40 per second as, as how well we, how fast we can process visual images, you get to several billions of thoughts. Uh, if you, Similarly, if you uh, ask what what are some of the fastest things that people can do, well, you can they can play video games, they can play the piano very fast if if they're skilled at it, and again, you get to similar uh, units. Or how fast can people talk? You get to sim, you know, within a couple of orders of magnitude, you get more or less to the same idea. So. Uh, so that's how you can say that 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 there's there's billions of meaning there's room for billions of meaningful thoughts. Yeah, you know, I be, won't argue for exactly two billion versus one point eight billion. It's not that kind of question, but but I think any estimate that's reasonable will come out within say a hundred billion and and a hundred million. So it's a lot. <laughs> it would be interesting to map out for an individual human being the landscape of thoughts that they've sort of traveled. If you think of thoughts as a set of trajectories, uh, what what that landscape looks like. I mean, I've been recently really thinking about uh, this Richard Dawkins idea of memes mm -hmm. and just all this ideas and the evolution of ideas inside of one particular human mind and how they're, they're then changed and evolved by interaction with other human beings. It's interesting to think about. So if you think <laughs> the number is billions, you, th you think there's also social interaction. So these aren't yes. uh, like there's interaction in the same way you have interaction with particles, there's interaction between human thoughts uh, that are 
perhaps that's that interaction in itself is fundamental to the process of thinking. Like without social interaction, we would be like stuck, like walking in a circle. We need yes. we need well, the perturbation of other humans to well, create change and evolution. Once you bring in concepts of uh, interactions and correlations and relations, then you have what's called a combinatorial explosion, <laughs> that the number of possibilities wrap, expands exponentially, technically, with the, yes. number of, uh, the number of things you're considering. And uh, it can easily, rapidly outstrip these, bill <laughs> these billions of yep. thoughts that we're talking about. <laughs> so we, we definitely uh, cannot, by brute force, master complex situations and or think about think of all the possibilities in a complex situations i mean you know, even even something as relatively simple as chess uh is still uh, something that human beings can't comprehend completely even the best players lose to, still sometimes lose and they consistently lose to computers these days uh and in, in computer science there's a concept of np complete so large classes of problems when you scale them up beyond a, a few individuals become intractable and so that in that sense uh the world is inexhaustible <laughs> but and that makes it beautiful that we can make uh any laws that generalize uh efficiently and well can compress all of that combinatorial it's, complexity just like a simple rule that that it's, in itself is beautiful it's a happy situation and it's, i i think that that we can find general principles of sort of of the operating system that are comprehensible simple extremely powerful and let us control things uh, very well and and ask profound questions and on the other hand, that the world is going to be inexhaustible. <laughs> that, that once we start asking about relationships and how they evolve and social interactions, and the, 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 we'll never have a theory of everything in any meaningful sense because. The, the, of everything, everything. <laughs> truly everything <laughs> truly is. Everything. <laughs>